Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, Dale Chanel's 40th world with the family. Putting their two cents in to make a story. Tiana, come get your husband. Tiana, come get your husband, girl. Because somebody done told him something wrong. He's a black man living in white America. And he needs to not know he can't do certain things. Period. And point blank. They always going to be after him. And he's a, a sports uh, celebrity. So, you know, they're going to want some money from brother man here. And we got uh, the holidays coming up, too. They got to make their quota. But this is a crime and a shame. A crime and a shame that a black man can't smoke weed. Okay. Without getting arrested. Now, we know he's a sports celebrity. We know he was on Dancing with the Stars. We know he's a good looking fella. Okay. And he has kids. And his kids need him at home. Not running around here getting locked up. Because of some weed. So. I'm telling. Tiana come get your husband. Because evidently he don't have enough restraint. To know. To don't travel with weed. Okay maybe two. Two little rolls up. Rolled up. But don't be having it in the bag. That you have to roll up yourself. Um, he ain't need but maybe four or five. To get him where he had to go. And that's it. Maybe just two of them on him. Two little rolled up. You no know, we Smokers or whatever y'all call them. I call them cigarettes here and there. <coughs> but I don't smoke. So that's why I call them cigarettes. Instead of you know wrapping you up a joint. Okay but I think that's the native word. Is wrapping up a joint. But. <laughs> this joker. He better be glad he ain't in Russia or China somewhere. Because then we'll have another situation how Brittany got herself, will have gotten herself in over in Russia. And now we have to pull out all the stops to bring her behind home when she knows she shouldn't have been taking that stuff over there. Because that whole thing about, oh, I didn't know they was in there. Yeah, right. Okay. So who had your luggage? Was your luggage uh, mishandled? Did your luggage come open? Or was it intact? On how you brought it when you boarded the plane, but that's neither here nor there. She was sentenced to nine years, and uh, we hopefully got some release papers for her and some other man that was over there prior to uh, Brittany coming over there. But this story we're gonna be talking about is from TMZ Sports, okay, and they titled it NBA's. Eman Schubert arrested for felony weed possession at Dallas airport. Now, you see what I'm saying? It don't matter if you're on the land. It don't matter if you're on the sea. It don't matter if you're up in a plane. <laughs> if they want you, they come to get you. And they'll put stuff on you that you thought you didn't have, that you currently have now. But in all defense, brother was taking his weed. That was his own stash. But he should have known better. He should have known better. But let's get on to the article. The NBA player Eamon Sherpert was arrested for having a sizable amount of marijuana in his backpack at the Dallas Fort Worth airport on Saturday. TMZ Sports has learned. Now again, sizable amount. Is that the uh, consistency of a, what do you call those little Ziploc bags that you put a sandwich in? You know what I'm saying? You had that full to the max bro. Then, what do you think they're going to do? Told y'all, get you a couple of rolled up joints and let that be. If you got to smoke on it, you know how they say ration out water when it's in a drought situation. You need to ration out that weed, okay? You need to ration out that weed. Just get it like to a real big, you know, 
we call it. Ain't nothing but got your two fingers. That's that's how you want it before you throw it away. But I don't know what's wrong with these men and women going around here taking all this stuff with them, thinking they're going to get away with it, okay? When they probably were going to get set up from the jump. But if they weren't no set up and it's just a situation of thinking you were better than somebody else, look where he got y'all asses. Got him in jail, but at least he's in the States and got Britain away over there in Russia, okay? With all that cold weather and all that torture treatment they be doing. But anyway, moving on from there. Going back to the article. It said, according to the police report, officers responded to a potential drug violation called around 2.40 p.m. After TSA screeners found a plastic bag filled with green leafy substance in Schubert's bag, which she admitted was weed. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You helping the cops out, dummy. You know, you, you're supposed to be like claiming amnesia. Claiming amnesia. Like, what is that? Where did they get that from? Is it my bag? Oh, I didn't bring that on my bag. Somebody must put, you know, that kind of scenario. That's where you should have went. Playing dumb, dumb, and then dumber, okay? But you didn't do that. You omitted shit, okay? So that means you already knew what you had in your bag, which you shouldn't have had in your bag in the first place. Tiana, come get your man. Come get your man, Tiana. Okay, but going back to the article, it says cops say the substance weighs 6.12 ounces and tested positive for marijuana use, a mobile, a mobile test. The report adds 32-year-old Schubert, who was set to board a Delta plane to Los Angeles at 3 p.m., expressed concern about missing his trip to visit his daughter. But the responding officer informed him he would not be making that flight as he was being placed under arrest for marijuana possession. Now, my thing is, how did they get a tip? How did they get a tip? So who was really setting this brother up? Because the only person that he should have been talking with was the weed man and him getting to his uh, destination. So could it have been the weed man had dropped the dime on the brother? I don't know. That's why I said just take two joints. Four, four being the max. Okay? Take two and then have you a man over there. So wherever you think you want to smoke, go pick it up from him and just sit in there and do your thing. Alright? But me keep it like Two, two to four joints. That's it. Not a whole fishing bag full of, you know, weed to be rolling up. Like, <sighs> Tiana, come get your husband. Come get your husband, okay? We're going back to the article, it says the report says the 2016 NBA champ was then placed in handcuffs and transported to the airport jail without incident. Of course, what you going to do? He probably still high. You think he going to really, really give you what he wanted to give you? So you can put on on that already existing charge. Uh, we call it uh, assault on an officer. Now nah, we won't get that case. We can't get that case. All right, but moving on. Um, the charge is classified as state jail felony, meaning Schubert could face up to two years behind bars and a ten thousand dollar fine if convicted. Now he probably just paid a thousand for the weed. Now look at him. He got to pay a ten thousand dollar fine that he already admitted was his goods. You see what I'm saying? Whoo! Black people wake up. <laughs> black people wake up. But going back to the article, it said um, cops also claim Schubert, who also won season thirty of Dancing with the Stars, had a Glock magazine and a 14 9 millimeter rounds in his bag, although he didn't have a gun. Okay, he had a Glock magazine and a 14 9 millimeter rounds in his bag, although he didn't have a gun. But that really don't make sense. Did he try to say he had no bullets in the gun? Okay, or maybe he said it wasn't his. He should have said that we wasn't his. Why he's sitting up there uh, giving out information all willy nilly? But going back to the article, it says Schubert last played for the Brooklyn Nets in 2022 and 21, and has also suited up for the Knicks, Cavaliers, Kings, and Rockets over his decade long career. He's averaging 7.2 points a game in his career. Okay, the story is still developing. And Lord, no, we don't want it to go no farther than what it has gotten. Because I, I, I already don't, like, how you say, toss up your hands and just swipe them, like, from side to side. You know, like you would just uh, point out money at a stripper club. You know, that's what I'd be doing. I'd be pointing out, you know, my hands, you know, each one of them. Just, you know, tossing it up. Like, we're going to have to wipe our hands in this situation because he don't went too far. We can't even defend them over here at the channel, okay? Because you just don't do that kind of stuff. You see what they've been doing to our black men for the longest, okay? 
for the longest. And then he going around him with empty gun shells or uh, guns. And he probably saying it's not. Or confessing. He's saying that ain't mine. That ain't mine. You shouldn't say the same thing about the weed you were talking. Uh, toting around. But you're going to say yes to that. That's mine. Really? Oh, our mind is a terrible thing to waste. But anyway, she don't need to come get her husband. Okay, so now she got to go find him a good ass lawyer and get him to probos- uh, probationary status. Okay? And don't let him travel by himself anymore. Don't, he don't need to travel by himself anymore. If y'all can't go by family, he don't need to go nowhere. He just don't need to go. Or better yet, but now, nah, because he can go home. He can leave without any traces of, you know, the marijuana or the bag full. He can just go buy him one. Okay? Which, that's probably what got his behind in trouble in the first place. Instead of him just going and get on that plane, smoke him a couple of cigarettes. I think they still legal, right, y'all? <laughs> If not, don't even put that in your uh, your mouth, okay? No nicotine, no ooey for you until you get home and you're with your loved ones. Then you can smoke all day, smoke all the time you want to, and be refreshed. But right now, that's why you're behind in jail. But anyways, that's all we got for this particular uh, video, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.